pasta and pheasant with wild garlic, this is what you need. You need some leftover pheasant, a chopped onion, some rosemary, chopped wild garlic, some ground coriander and some cumin seeds and black pepper to taste. Into a frying pan with hot olive oil you simply add the garlic, the rosemary, the pepper and the onion. around add the cumin and coriander and black pepper to taste I want to keep this reasonably dry stir it for a couple of minutes until it's hot right through and then that'll be ready to go onto the pasta. It looks like the pasta is ready as well. we go. Very straightforward meal with wild garlic. Right, pheasant and wild garlic soup. For this you need one and a half litres of pheasant stock, you need a handful of chopped uh, garlic, a handful of chopped pheasant uh, already cooked and some onions chopped or shallots and um, we've used shallots in this case so you just put them into the pan and, uh, and uh, stick some heat under it uh, which is that one leave to boil for about uh, 20 minutes to um, half an hour around about 20 minutes mark and uh, then enjoy. Wild garlic loaf, this is what you need. First of all about 125 grams of freshly picked wild garlic, about five sprigs of freshly picked rosemary, one egg, some dried sage, about half a loaf of bread, doesn't matter whether it's brown or white, and you can use stale bread if necessary, some olive oil and black pepper and sea salt uh, to taste. This is what you have to do. Okay, into the food mixer goes the, uh, the garlic leaves, followed by Breadcrumb, the, the breads rather, bro broken up. The rosemary put in a reasonable handful of dried sage, olive oil, good slosh of it. Seasoning. And then now at the end of this, you should have a thick uh, paste, which is uh, sort of quite gooey as well. 
Uh, now if it's a bit too dry, uh, add in uh, more oil, or more olive oil, uh, or perhaps another egg as well. You can also um, add in a chopped onion as well to give it a bit of extra taste. Um, and particularly if you use it as a, uh, a stuffing for chicken or pheasant, then certainly add uh, onion to that. So simply we get out of the dish here and we put it into the baking tin. Okay, once you've got it in the tin, then there we go, it goes into the oven at 180 degrees centigrade. After about 25 minutes, take it out of the oven. And uh, there we have it. So leave it to cool and uh, then have it uh, sliced and with salad and uh, chutney. So there we go. One garlic, wild garlic loaf.